NATO representatives are helping Ukraine prepare a counteroffensive in the Kharkov region. Kyiv has not abandoned the idea of conducting a counteroffensive in the Kharkiv region, driving Russian troops out of the region. At the moment, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Alexander Sirsky, is forming strike groups of troops, with the help of which he will try to break through the Russian defense. Retired Russian Lieutenant Colonel Andriy Marochko spoke about this. Sirsky is planning a counteroffensive operation in the Kharkov direction. Now the existing reserve are being drawn up and the operation itself is being planned. NATO officers are said to be actively involved in its preparation. It is assumed that the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine wants to carry out an offensive in two or three local areas, in particular in Volchansk and near Lipsy, in order to eliminate the threat from the northern direction. Most likely, the plan of the Ukrainian command is to level out all our recent successes in this area and carry out the so-called deoccupation by analogy with the counter-offensive in 2023, but only in a local area. It also became known that the development of this operation is being carried out directly by Sirsky with the participation of officers from NATO headquarters. Leads, Rear News, Experts, Words. Meanwhile, fierce fighting in the Kharkov direction has been going on for several weeks. The command of the armed forces of Ukraine has pulled up reserves and is counter-attacking in two areas, precisely in Vovchansk and in the Lipsy area. In the first half of May, Russia opened a new front to its war against Ukraine in dramatic fashion. The two-pronged offensive on Kharkiv Oblast unfolded on the back of some of the most difficult months for Ukrainian forces, overstretched and depleted after a brutal winter and early spring campaign fought with severe ammunition shortages. The initial offensive was particularly painful for Ukrainians, taking areas that had already once been occupied and liberated by the Ukrainian army and accompanied by escalating attacks on civilian targets in Kharkiv city itself. But just two weeks after it started, Russia's move on Ukraine's second largest city stopped moving, meeting fierce resistance from a number of hardened Ukrainian brigades and specialist units sent there from the eastern and southern fronts. Опять что-то там горит. 